Welcome to the jewel of the Adelaide Hills. Handorf. Handorf. Oh, the so oldest good. surviving German settlement in Australia. How about that? Yeah. What a place. Yeah, it's been here since the mid 1800s. And you can just see the charm is just etched into these beautiful old buildings, isn't it? Just a half an hour drive from the city of Adelaide, the historic town of Handorf has been passionately preserved by the locals. Its German heritage can be seen in the many original buildings. The German culture spills onto the streets. But it's not only because it's a wonderful weekender to come and enjoy. The town of Handorf has a special story to tell. It was settled by Lutheran migrants in 1838 after they escaped religious persecution in Prussia, formerly northeastern Germany and now part of Poland. 38 families came aboard the Zebra and made a home here. And if you ask around, you'll find direct descendants from those founding families. Oh, Kate! So tell me your story. Well, I'm a direct descendant of the Baum family, who were one of the first founding families of Handorf. I feel really proud to be part of the village of Handorf, preserving the heritage and the history and telling stories to visitors to the area. The entire region is filled with beauty. It's like time has slowed down. We're staying just a few minutes up the road at the Big Four Handorf Resort Tourist Park. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. It's lovely, that sun just beaming down. Yeah. The ducks. They're the locals. Yeah, I love it. And the geese, yeah. right outside our cabin. Which is up there. Up there. Beautiful property. Yeah, it's huge. I think it's about 30 acres, approximately. You know, you can put your head down in cabins or caravans and different types of accommodation, which is good. Our time in the main street comes to an end at the iconic Handorf Inn that's overflowing with German cheer. Siobhan! Hey! The main woman is here. Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> we both said it at the same time. Oh my gosh! What's over We've here? got our famous taste of Germany platter. We've got our pickled pork knuckle. We've got a smoked pork cassler chop. The bockwurst, the white sausages of Weisswurst, and that's traditionally eaten for breakfast in the morning with the wheat beer. So, breakfast sausage, breakfast beer. The Handorf Inn has never really had an issue with popularity. Built in 1863, it was originally across the road at the Leathersmiths, but as the town grew, it simply crossed the road and became the Handorf Inn, and today celebrates all things German.